catch a kingfish, impress a girl. No way. <laughs> yeah, the day went a little bit like that, but as always, there's more to the story. It was a cruisy Sunday and Talia had never seen grano sharks in the water before, so I thought I'd have a chance of finding them, so that was first on the agenda. You can find some spots where they like to congregate and it's cool seeing them here because usually they're quite relaxed, just hanging on the bottom and you really get to appreciate these cool fish. Seeing the nurses ticked off the list and plenty of sun left in the day. We were just relaxing on this 16R sun deck, aka the landing pad, aka the leisure craft, aka the cruiser, aka the just does everything boat. After enough chilling out, before we headed in, I said, just let me check one spot, give me half an hour, see what we can do. Tali had never seen a, a real fish, you know, like a, a real fish. If we're talking Sydney standards, I mean a kingfish or something like that. So in my head, that was the plan. I don't know if she knew that plan, but you know, I mental image, you know, big fish, ah, girl, smiles, impress, stuff like that. To be honest, this day, it was just sound being in the water, like just beautiful as you can hear, I'm frothing. It was like, no. No smell, no current, no nothing. So I take a dive and the froth just continues. Well looking good, I says to myself. Talia back up on deck on the iPhone cam, killing it. I'd only been in the water for 10, 15 minutes and I hadn't seen too much, but the fish life was quite good and you can see these long fin pike here. Now don't live or die by this rule, because I definitely don't, and I guess it only applies to Sydney and the greater surrounds, but I generally find where these long fin pike tend to school up can be a little correlation to a spot where kingfish may show up. And I generally take advantage of these as burley. Um, I, I notice they're just quite good to cut up and generally gets a bit of fish activity going. And better than taking, you know, a slow growing reefy or something like that. So literally get to the spot I want to be with my nice cube trail, dive down the cube trail. And I'm startled, we're on. Two nice kingies cruise in. Okay, you're probably thinking, what's he done? What just happened there? How did that happen? Look, I don't know. I think I hadn't been in the water for a while and I was a bit trigger happy. I, I think I just slipped, but I mean, you could, one could diagnose it premature tribulation. I mean, who really knows? You know, the pretty girl and the big fish and the loaded gun and I just, oh, I don't know. No. It just all came undone. I've really made a mess of myself here. Anyway, after seeking the correct advice, I decided to go for a reload. The 
This gets really tense here, so I'm just gonna shut up and close my eyes. Choking on frog, like what a situation. I don't know about you, but that's the most tense spear vision footage I've seen in a little while. Uh, a little while at least. I'm spewing here like the GoPro runs out. I don't get the froth footage of me like pulling the king in the boat and Talia's face and voice of like, oh my god, it's such a big fish. This is so cool. Like something like that. I don't know. But that's okay. That just means we just have to do it again, get the footage again. I mean, it's happened one more time since then when she was in the water with me, which is absolutely epic. Got none of it on footage. But that just means we have to do it again. Damn! Oh, right, I have to what have we resorted to here? The iPhone came again. Cheers guys, I hope you enjoyed that emotional journey of a day on the water. If you like this and want to see more, give it a thumbs up. It really helps, uh, apparently, apparently. I'm not going to roll the intro to the next video because there's a few I'm deciding between in terms of what to put up. I can tell you, it'll be here soon. I actually feel unsettled after watching that again.